you know, when a patient wants to be seen uh, by you, or when I say you, I mean either Bold Health or Zemedy uh, or one of the solutions, uh, would they be seen uh, by a digital uh, interface, an algorithm, or a physician, or all of it? Uh, all of it. <laughs> all of it, okay. Elena Mustatsia, uh, welcome to the Scope Forward show. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Uh, you're the CEO and founder of Bold Health, a uh, digital GI company. Uh, really warm welcome. Thank you so much. Really delighted to be here. And I thank the audience for being here with us today as well. Uh, you know, when I actually saw your profile, it seemed uh, like a Mission Impossible movie. Uh, cutting across different countries, uh, like so you grew up in Romania, then I saw Italy pop up and then Germany, uh, and, and then you founded Bold Health in the UK, uh, and uh, then uh, you were in New York, uh, now you're uh, extending Bold Health to the US. So, uh, and, and then, uh, of course, like, you know, you're part of the Forbes uh, 30 under 30 list, so congratulations uh, on that. Uh, please tell us uh, the backstory here and what led up to uh, the founding of Bold Health. Sure. Thanks so much for, uh, for taking the time to research my background. Indeed, I spent time in many countries. I studied in like five different countries um, and, uh, and I took that with me in building companies. And I, I always see myself kind of building global companies that make an impact around the world. And I think it's important to have that international view of uh, things and understanding different systems, different social uh, implications. Um, so yes, I grew up uh, in Romania, and uh, I actually um, I remember just growing up with a bunch of digestive uh, symptoms, uh, lots of abdominal pain, uh, various others, and I thought that was normal because most people in my family had IBS, had ulcers. Um, my dad, we almost lost him to a, an intestinal obstruction, was in, in the emergency room and really afraid for him. And, uh, and yeah, I would see people with all sorts of digestive uh, issues. Maybe it was because we didn't have such great like water system in Romania and so forth at the time. But it took a while, you know, for the medical system to have the simple test, the simple blood test to tell you have that and then you get antibiotics and, and it's gone. So I've seen the benefits of standard medicine on um, improving uh, gut disease. And later, as I was working, um, I worked in management consulting and investment banking, venture capital. Um, I had pretty intense, very demanding jobs, poor lifestyle, working across time zones, taking many flights, working late, uh, you know, eating if I could. Um, I developed IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, that really, you know, impacted my ability to work productively, um, to enjoy life, you know, to go out, socialize, eat and drink whatever I wanted, uh, even affected my intimacy. So I saw this very significant impact on, of, of gut symptoms on overall, you know, quality of life and also on my mental health. So really both health was born out of desire to help other people like me and my family. Uh, but in general, people suffering of underserved conditions or even mystery conditions that we might not diagnose early enough, we might not know how to treat, or they require a more integrative approach that maybe it's food as medicine, there's medication, maybe it's a psychologist that helps you work through the behavioral aspects, uh, which frankly, you know, standard medicine doesn't do today. So um, so I got together with my co-founder, who is a, a doctor, very passionate doctor about uh, technological innovation in healthcare. He's run a number of digital health startups. Uh, he comes from Nigeria, so very international background as well. Uh, we knew there wasn't much digital helping GI patients. Uh, while this being one of the largest condition categories, both by spend, but also by prevalence, we know 70% of American adults will have a recurring GI symptom uh, and about 30% will have a diagnosable illness, right? So very vast condition area, poorly served, we believe at the moment. Uh, and we see that anecdotally from our patients and then very little digitized. So of course, building a digital health startup in this space felt uh, a no brainer. Elena, you talk often about the mind gut connection. Uh, you've written about it. 
and uh, that seems to form a foundation for bowel health as well. Uh, can you share a little bit more? Sure. Uh, so in the recent years, we've been learning a lot more about the gut-brain link connection and the functions of, of this gut-brain uh, connection. And what it is, is a direct link between uh, the central nervous system of our brain and the enteric nervous system of our gut. We don't know exactly how they're linked. Some say via the vagus nerve, there might be other nerve endings that connect the two brains. Uh, people say our, our gut is actually uh, our second brain and and uh, evolutionarily, it was our very first brain around digestion, life-giving digestion, right? Um, and what we know, it's the bidirectional link uh, that uh, the gut affects the brain and the other way around. So that's the main insight we leverage in our work that uh, because our digestive system is responsive to um, psychological and behavioral um, uh, factors, we can treat it leveraging behavioral medicine, what we call behavioral medicine, and techniques um, within that are cognitive behavioral therapy and hypnotherapy. These have the best evidence base developed over the past 20, 30 years um, that CBT and hypnotherapy can really, uh, gut-directed hypnotherapy can um, uh, improve uh, digestive systems dramatically. And actually in conditions like IBS, which is uh, the poster child gut-brain dysfunction affecting 15 to 20% of people, um, uh, uh, CBT and hypnotherapy are by far the most effective at around 70% uh, efficacy rates. That's more than prescription drugs, more than diets, more than probiotics and others. So anecdotally, a story, one of our collaborators at uh, University of Pennsylvania, she was telling us that uh, every week she has a patient flying in from Toronto to Philadelphia to get their one hour CBT uh, with this therapist. Um, uh, and so it's a, it's a very underserved uh, patient population. And through our work, actually, we make these therapies accessible digitally. We aim to deliver the most effective and convenient digital care for uh, uh, GI conditions, providing both a virtual care team, an integrated virtual care team composed of GI doctors, dietitians, clinical psychologists, and health coaches, as well as highly effective digital therapeutics for the self-management of, of the condition. Mm -hmm. What you said made me wonder, uh, you know, it's such a powerful insight, uh, you know, re regarding the uh, gut-brain connection. Uh, so my the question is, how come we don't see uh, as many solutions? What must be the reason? Yeah, well, first of all, we weren't around to commercialize these solutions they were being studied researched for a very long time and even when we speak to clinicians all around the world really they're like okay I recognize that CBT hypnotherapy are highly effective I'd love to give them to my patients but it's not really part of you know standard of care we don't have that type of service you know we barely offer people 10 minutes consultations uh, and a prescri quick prescription so simply I think the system hasn't really provided so far integrative medicine so we're big fans of the emerging model in GI care, where we look at the patient um, as a whole with both mental health, physical health, and another, a lot of other factors that I mentioned affecting their GI health and overall well-being. So um, first of all, you have to innovate by bringing integrative care to people that does recognize the gut-brain link, does recognize the importance of lifestyle and good nutrition, and uh, brings in these pillars into care but we know right now standard of care you go to the doctor you get a medical uh, medicine prescription and then go home and hope for the best so first of all that's the innovation integrative care um, and when you look really at the behavioral interventions um, it's it's a bit counterintuitive right that you would treat the very physical illness you know people have very deep abdominal pain uh, diarrhea for days or constipation uh, huge bloating they have have, are insensitive to anything they eat and so forth. Um, it's a bit counterintuitive that by giving them cognitive behavioral therapy and teaching them how to uh, reposition how they, they uh, relate to the condition that would significantly reduce symptoms. So but what we always did so that it doesn't sound, you know, too alternative uh, is to, to base everything in science. So we collaborate 
uh, with uh, people at the University of Pennsylvania or leading IBS centers in, uh, in the UK or with Stanford University um, so that uh, where there's existing evidence, where there's proven protocols um, and some of the best experts in the field. Got it. Uh, so your your first solution was Zemedy, uh, which is an app, and uh, that was launched uh, just in the UK, or is it available outside of the UK too? Yeah, so Zemedy is available in over 190 countries. Okay. Uh, what we wanted to do with our first solution, and, and Zemedy is, is a digital uh, care program for IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. What we wanted to do initially is to serve the area of most acute needs, which we identified I, IBS to be that. We saw you know, the largest number of people affected, 15, 20% of the population, uh, almost complete lack of effective treatment. Standard me medicine doesn't work very much in IBS because it's a disorder of the gut-brain link and it's a functional condition, not an uh, organic one. So we wanted to create a program fully digital initially that people can access via digital app to get uh, therapies that we know work like CBT and hypnotherapy, uh, you know, access at their fingertips. They can play guided um, uh, exercises. They can go through patient education and so forth uh, and really self-manage, uh, use this app to, to uh, improve improve their symptoms uh, at home. Um, so with that in mind, we launched the app around the world. Um, we uh, recently um, uh, are more focused on the UK and the United States for commercialization, but we want to make our, our apps available widely so that you know, underserved patients can uh, easily access them. So this uh, rollout of Zemedy, uh, you know, that's across uh, so many countries, what are the outcomes that you're seeing? Absolutely. So we see uh, incredible clinical outcomes uh, from Zemedy. At the moment, it's a fully digital uh, intervention for IBS based on CBT and hypnotherapy, as I mentioned. Uh, and we already knew from uh, evidence that the effects we can see are improvement uh, in GI symptoms, improvement in mental health scores like anxiety, depression, and stress. Uh, quality of life and a few others like visceral anxiety, fear of food, uh, generally uh, improved health. So we've actually uh, just published a paper uh, in JMIR, our first randomized controlled trial with the University of Pennsylvania, where we had 120 patients uh, in two arms, uh, the intervention arm on Zemedy and the wait list, uh, where uh, we saw clinically significant improvement across all of the secondary and primary outcomes of disease. Uh, over 66% of patients in the clinical trial clinically, uh, they, they uh, saw clinically significant improvement in their GI symptoms, for example, in their quality of life. And not only that, we looked at three months follow-up and we saw that those scores were maintained. So the benefits of an intervention, uh, behavioral, psychobehavioral intervention, are uh, magnificent because not only do you get that uh, immediate uh, impact um, or after a few weeks on the program, that will be maintained over months and even years. Uh, so a common question uh, that uh, comes up in the GI circles, uh, you know, when it comes to cognitive behavior therapy or uh, anything that's outside of the uh, mainstream insurance domain uh, is who will pay for it? In other words, what is your business model? Sure. Uh, before that, I'd say, you know, where we, we start fundamentally is that we believe in value-based care that delivers the best outcomes for the patient and puts the patient at the center of care. So that's very important for us, uh, not only to get reimbursement for our solutions, but also make it you know, free or covered for the patient while they, can be, while they can be sure that they're getting the best treatment and the best care they can. So um, our model is actually hybrid. So we provide a virtual care team, telehealth access to, uh, to different clinicians, and then the digital therapeutic for the chronic self-management of the uh, illness. So uh, we can get paid for, for those altogether or separately, for, for example, for the digital therapeutic in some instances. Um, ultimately, our model is B2B2C. We seek to have uh, coverage and reimbursement by self-insured employers or by health plans and insurers. 
Um, we also offer at the moment, uh, uh, you know, until they, there's broad coverage around the nation, patients can also buy directly from us. Uh, but ultimately, we are focused on securing reimbursement across all 50 states. Um, uh, and we function both as a medical provider, so we can charge on claims, as well as a technology company. So for example, we can sell the, the software, the digital therapeutic um, on its own. Uh, so then the operational implications, I know you're, you're going to, to ask about that, is that uh, we are set up as a provider that can hire clinical team, licensed clinicians like dietitians or uh, therapists and GI doctors and nurses, um, uh, while we also have a, a tech team, we have an R&D team under the, uh, the parent tech company. Uh, so that's a very interesting challenge to have to coordinate this type of team and really two organizations um, uh, that come under one, but it's necessary so that we're able to, to de de deliver uh, care digitally uh, with this type of model. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you be continuing to focus on IBS or uh, would you expand to other GI conditions in the U.S.? Absolutely. So we um, are a diversified GI provider. So we seek to cover all GI conditions uh, that you, you might want to see a doctor for. Um, and IBS was our first proof of concept digital therapeutics uh, condition area. We build there, you know, we build the evidence. We're building um, a portfolio of digital therapeutics across other conditions like inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's and colitis. We have another product for children with functional abdominal pain, for example. So not only do we cover multiple conditions, we also cover the whole family, both uh, the pediatric population and adults. Um, and, uh, and then really we seek to be end-to-end -end care, GI care. So from diagnostic to consultation, ongoing uh, care support to uh, digital therapies, uh, but also you know, medication uh, prescriptions and, and adherence and so forth. So being being kind of one point of entry for all GI needs in a, you know, wherever possible in a digital or digitally enabled format. Mm -hmm. You know, when a patient wants to be seen uh, by you, or when I say you, I mean either Bold Health or Zemedy uh, or one of the solutions, uh, would they be seen uh, by a digital uh, interface, an algorithm or a physician or all of it? Uh, all of <laughs> all of it okay yeah. yeah so so we're creating the most efficient care as well so the the most convenient and delightful for the patient the most effective right we're all trying to improve gi care here and the most cost effective um, uh, gi solutions and care so the way to do that you want to leverage technology and digital as much as possible from both from a data perspective so you mentioned triage right or even having ai AI algorithms uh, that uh, get the patient data either from EHR or uh, they fill out an assessment and then get triage to the right uh, clinician or the right treatment for them. Uh, and then we, we want to leverage technology at every step of the, the way and, and data. Um, uh, and, uh, and of course, with digital therapeutics, we even deliver uh, therapies digitally. Um, but, uh, but yeah, to answer more specifically, we do an assessment upfront where we get the patient data, their symptoms and so forth. And then we empower the clinician that will see them with that data. So it's very effective. They already have everything upfront and they can spend time providing quality care. Uh, the patient and, and what's interesting, we offer a care navigator. Um, that at the moment would, would be a GI nurse that understands both GI conditions very well and all the different components of integrative care and all the different you know, clinicians that we might offer within the team and might serve the patient. And after doing this assessment, the care navigator, um, the GI nurse will decide, you know, does this patient need to see the GI doctor or maybe they should be put on Zemedy on the digital therapeutic alongside seeing a dietitian. So uh, not everybody gets the same. It's a, it's a personalized care uh, uh, journey uh, based on, on uh, data on the patient and what makes most sense for them. And it's a very, you know, high 
touch concierge type of service. And even though this sounds like this cannot be cost effective because you give access to a full integrative team and you build, you know, whole technology infrastructure, we know from evidence that actually integrative care will be the most cost effective because you, um, you prevent a lot of costs down the line when the patient gets much better or even enters remission uh, closer, you know, upfront or in the first year or immediately after diagnosis. So let's say a patient uh, is seen virtually and uh, the doctor determines that this patient has to go through a physical exam, needs to be seen in person or has to go through a colonoscopy. Uh, what happens at that time? Do you refer the case to somebody else or uh, would you also employ uh, GI doctors to see them in person? Absolutely. So that's a brilliant question and it's very important, right? We recognize that in GI care, many patients do have to get their colonoscopies on a recurring basis. For example, people with inflammatory bowel disease that need to be monitored. Uh, and there will be instances to, to do these invasive tests or see a, a G, GI doctor face to face. So what we're developing is a network of uh, premium partners for in-network referrals so that around the country and in, in various, you know, in the networks of each health plan, for example, we can identify those clinicians that are high performing, that have good reviews, that uh, we know, you know, are compatible with this um, integrative model of care, so or, uh, you know, see things in, in a, let's say, progressive way and can uh, refer patients into them. So we see more ourselves augmenting uh, in-person uh, medicine and standard care um, and, and supporting patients, you know, for this chronic journey because ultimately care is what happens, you know, after you've seen the doctor um, and, uh, and often, you know, standard uh, uh, care pathways won't include a dietitian or won't include a GI psychologist that we can offer to, uh, to really augment and make better what patients might get from their primary care doctor or their main GI doctor. If I take it, uh, you, you would move in the direction of FDA approval. That's not correct. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. So at the moment, we don't have plans to go through FDA approval. Um, we are a chronic care management platform for uh, gastrointestinal conditions. Uh, we provide digital care pathways. Um, and for, for even for the, the digital therapy that we digitize, it's, uh, we position as a self-management program. But, uh, ultimately, you know, CBT therapists or hypnotherapists are not FDA approved. So almost in that vein, um, our intervention doesn't need to be FDA approved. Okay, uh, that's helpful. Uh, so I've learned that uh, OSHI Health uh, is also positioning itself as a digital GI platform or digital uh, telemedicine platform. Uh, how does Bold Health uh, differ from uh, what they're doing or is it similar? Uh, and uh, sure. more broadly, uh, who do you see uh, as competition for uh, what you do? Absolutely. Uh, so to clarify, we're the only end-to-end -end GI care digital platform, I would say, and the two components are the virtual care integrative team, let's say telemedicine for GI, and then the portfolio of digital therapies for self-management, for self-care that we give our patients access to. So in that sense, uh, players like Oshi Health and GI On Demand as well, that I think I believe they're building a similar platform to Oshi, that is virtual care, telemedicine, telehealth, giving access to the integrative care team. Uh, which is fantastic. We believe in that. And, and we're very happy that there's multiple digital providers emerging. And then on digital therapeutics, uh, you know, we mentioned Mahana, they do that. Uh, they now have the IBS uh, product, they might go into other condition areas. Um, and the other uh, uh, competitor I would like to mention is, is Vivant Health. So they're also in the B2B space. They're selling into employers and uh, insurers um, with a bit of a hybrid model where they have a care team with dietitian and health coach, and then they offer an app with various information, psychoeducation, um, and so forth. So they're a bit of a hybrid between the two, but I'd say we're the only one set up both as a provider and offering the digital therapies. Okay, uh, excellent. Uh, so, uh, Elena, let me ask you, uh, what is your uh, vision for uh, GI as a space uh, and maybe healthcare as a whole? 
Absolutely. So uh, we believe in a world where people live free of the burden of uh, chronic conditions more generally. And when you do have chronic conditions, you can get the, the right care immediately, accessibly, and you can feel much better um, so that you can have a full life and limitless life, we, we call it, uh, at Bold Health. So that's a division of the world. Uh, in terms of GI care, we believe things can be made a lot better where patients can get a diagnosis faster. We know today they have to wait uh, often over four years to get an IBS or IBD diagnosis. We find that unacceptable. Also in the world today, people don't get access to effective therapies like CBT or hypnotherapy, even when they're the most effective therapies. So uh, we believe in that world where you get access to what to the right treatment um, as soon as you get diagnosed, as soon as you have that need. Um, and, uh, and healthcare becomes not only very convenient, but delightful, uh, right? Where you, um, uh, you know you're being taken care of, you have a care team that you can have a relationship with, you feel supported. And that's something what we've seen with our app, for example, in the feedback. Some people tell us, I feel like this is my best friend. Um, it, it understands what I go through. It knows my condition in and out. It can give me advice. It, it just tells the story that you know I'm living. So it's it's um, so it's really interesting how you know patients uh, are are coming at the center of care. We see the consumerization of healthcare where we expect you know really good service, really high quality products, which would be the the care and the therapies and treatments we get, and ultimately much better outcomes. So I believe in GI, we can produce better outcomes faster uh, with reduced costs. Um, ultimately, I'd say the world I see for GI is really integrative care in GI, where we look at the patient as a whole, at a whole, we understand the gut-brain link, uh, we, we leverage it to, to treat uh, people uh, better and provide, uh, you know, dietary support, psychological support, GI medication um, for, for the most optimal outcome. And, and we hope we're, we're part of creating that world, I would say, all those different aspects of that vision uh, where our platform builds towards. That's uh, wonderful, Elena. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your views and sharing this vision. Uh, were there any final comments that uh, you'd like to share? No, I would, uh, I would just want to really thank you for the invite. Uh, I'm super happy that I was uh, able to, to share our work at Bold Health and our vision for uh, better GI care. Uh, and thank everyone uh, for your attention. Thank you so much.